Hello everyone. Welcome to part seven of my Rockdale project. I hope you've been enjoying the uh, video so far. Um, I apologize for the long stretches in some of them where I'm not actually saying anything. But really, uh, the action on the screen pretty much says it all in most of those cases. Now what I need to remember is what I was doing. Okay. I really do need a better solution over here. I'm just not sure how I accomplished that. I also need to do some research on on the um, districts and in industry special specialization, so I can work out, you know, how to benefit from that. Seems to me, uh, with the forest resources, I could do quite well in renewables in this particular city. First of all, though, I'm going to put. I'm going to make an interchange here on this road. Okay, that's one side of it. That's not going to work. I think I'm going to have to come at it from the other side. No. Now, I think I'll do it that way. The geometry is just off on that, so I'll do it that way. I'm probably going to rework that at some point. I'll end up relocating this road, I think. 
but I'm not sure. Okay. So realistically, my next milestone, is, oh, it's under a thousand away. Okay. So I need to expand the residential coverage here. I think I'll put a, a development over here. And again, I'll make it a district. district so I'll call it river run okay now I need to build some roads in here first and that means extending this to extend the highway here, but I'm thinking I'm going to leave the interchange alone. What I will do, though, Seems like having another crossing over the highway would be useful. Now, this will be another area that doesn't really do the grid thing.
Let's see. This one, I think, will cross the river. See what I mean about building a bridge partway and then continuing it? It's useful if you get the road exactly where you want it. Uh, and of course, I can't link that up quite the way I want. Right. Right, okay. Now over here. I'm going to go for a lower density setup in this area. But first, I need to put some services. That includes schools. Fire station. And a police station. And also services. Like, for instance, water. Okay, now for some zoning. So, first off, I need to actually get a power feed across here. 
maybe. Along the highway, I'm going to put commercial. in from the highway, I'll go for residential, especially along the river. Okay. Clearly, I'm going to need to do that. Okay, that's power. That should make the area fairly happy for the moment. I'm going to speed the simulation up here. It occurs to me something the uh, people over here might enjoy is a park or two. What I don't understand is why a park even needs electricity. That just doesn't seem to make any sense, but I suppose maybe it's got some facilities for the park users. I think ultimately this is also going to cross over the highway. I might put an interchange here. I 
Okay, the population's growing again. Now let's take a look over here. So it looks like I've got some traffic building over here. It's like the cargo station's quite busy. It occurs to me I might be able to improve traffic if I relocate some stuff here. There we go. Next up is a colossal city. Okay, I'm going to save the game here. put it back on high speed. It just seemed logical that uh, some more industrial space would be helpful, what with the demand. Missed out some zoning here. I'll make that commercial in that loop.
Okay, after a brief interruption, I'm back. Okay, back to laying out some more roads over here. Okay, that'll do for now. Now I just need to add some plumbing. Okay, now, some more zoning, again I'll put commercial along the highway, and in this area. and residential in the interior area. Right, that'll do for now. I think over here will be another river crossing. Yeah. So I'll build that now. Now, I can buy another plot here. I think... I think this one is the one I should get. Yeah. I think it makes sense to have a, a larger road coming through here.
see how bad that is. Terrible. Okay. Okay, so I figure it makes sense to have a highway crossing there. I could potentially make an interchange here, but I don't think it's needed. Okay, just a little bit more here. Okay, good. Now let's see how my uh, district lines shape up here. And this road will be the boundary. Whoops, not what I want. Okay. And now there's a little bit more zoning needed. Whoops. I want commercial. And I'll put commercial along this road here too. into this little bit here. Obviously I need to plumb it as well. 
And I can slow that back down. residential for the rest of the interior here. This is the problem when you start building the curvy linear stuff, the that most city planning these days uses. The zoning, I, there is a faster way to do this, but you end up with all of these odd shaped zone areas and they don't abut each other. So a single click with the zone fill tool doesn't actually fill it all in. Though, even with all of the little gaps, once the buildings spawn, it, uh, it looks quite, uh, quite complete. Okay, now I need to finish plumbing this area. Okay, that's water for the whole area. Well, it should be. I guess if you don't pause it, then it can make progress. Now, Put it up on turbo mode here and uh, let things run for a bit. Well, actually, the park is probably good. And I think And I guess health care would be good to have for these people as well. And maybe some death care.
When's the next milestone? 44,000. What have we got in here for... Well, this would be tourists. You know what? I'm going to build this thing. That's the people that make the uh, City Skylines game. doing okay. Water's getting... well, it's okay. Trash is okay. Uh, traffic. Couple of hot spots, but otherwise traffic's not too bad. Huh. Whoops. What have we got in here? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, realistically, I think I'm going to put an interchange about here. 
I'll do that now, and then I'll I'll call it a part after I do that. So I'll do it right about here. Huh. Okay. Okay, there's the bridge. Okay, now I need to fix the direction of these ramps. It's so much nicer being able to drag the... the uh, one ways in a natural direction and then set them to the correct direction. Okay, yeah. That's where I want that interchange, okay. This will be a district here. Which I think we'll probably need, uh, well, I'll probably go lower density again there, but I'm not sure exactly. I'll decide that when I get to the next part. Why is the population dropping? I don't see any zots. Well, I'm going to call it a part now. Whoop. So first I'll save the game. Okay, folks, that's it for part seven of the Rockdale project. I'll see you again in part eight. Thanks for watching.